When purchasing a new cell phone plan, you are given two pay options. Both include unlimited texting. With plan A, you pay 33 cents per minute, which can be represented by the equation C equals 0.33M, where M is the number of minutes and C is the total cost. With plan B, you pay 15 cents per minute, plus a flat fee of $9.50. This can be represented by the equation C equals 0.15M plus 9.50, where again M is the number of minutes and C is the total cost. Complete the following steps to determine how many minutes you would need to use for plan B, this plan here, to be less expensive than plan A. So we're first asked to write the inequality that represents plan B being less than plan A. Well, the cost of plan B is 0.15M plus 9.50. We want to know when this is less than the cost of plan A, which is 0.33M. So if we solve this inequality for M, we can determine what interval of minutes plan B would be cheaper. And so looking at step two, we are asked to solve the inequality and use the answer to complete the following sentence. Plan B is less expensive than plan A when you use at least how many minutes? Let's go ahead and solve this inequality on the next slide. So we solve an inequality just like an equation except if we multiply or divide by a negative, we must reverse the inequality symbol. Notice we have m terms on both sides of the inequality. To solve for m, we need the m terms on one side, but because on the left side we also have this constant, Let's go ahead and subtract 0.15M on both sides of the equation. Notice now on the left side, this is zero, so we have 9.50 is less than 0.33M minus 0.15M is equal to 0.18M, which means 0.18 times M. So to undo this multiplication and solve for M, we divide both sides by 0.18. Notice here we're dividing by a positive, so we do not reverse the inequality symbol. Looking at the right side, notice how this quotient would be one, so we have one times m or just m. So we have m is greater than this quotient here, which we'll evaluate on the calculator. So we have 9.5 divided by 0.18 If we round to one decimal place, this would be approximately 52.8. So let's go ahead and use the rounded approximation of 52.8. We can also reverse the order here and say m is greater than approximately 52.8. Notice how the inequality symbol is still pointing toward 52.8 and open toward m. Let's take this back to the previous slide and answer our question. We just solved this inequality and determined that m is greater than approximately 52.8. Remember, m represents the number of minutes, and so when we solve this inequality, this is the number of minutes that would have to be used in order for plan b to be less expensive. But of course, we cannot use a fraction of a minute. The minutes are always rounded up, and therefore we'll say that plan b is less expensive than plan a when you use at least 53 minutes. I hope you found this helpful.